Mr. Li Jin, Li Jingwo, and San Jin were charged in relation to the standard gauge railway ticketing scandal and trying to induce investigation with a 900,000 shillings bribe to the investigators. The accused are employees of China Road and Bridge Corporation and work as a transport manager, a security officer, and a translator. The chief magistrate agreed with the prosecutors Renson Igonga and Jami Yamina, who opposed the release of the accused, saying that they were a flight risk and if they leave the jurisdiction of the court, they will not come back since there is no treaty between Kenya and China that would see them brought back to face trial. Through lawyer Nelson Sitonik, the accused sought to be released on bond, saying that they will abide by all the conditions that the court may set, adding that they live at the SGR Mombasa Terminus and they have no intentions of jumping bail. They will now remain in police custody until December 10, when the pre-trial will commence. Elsewhere, the Miwani multi-billion shillings fraud case against a former magistrate and eight other suspects continued in Kisumu law courts on Friday. The last witness in the case was a former EACC officer testified where he claimed that the documentation given by the buyers were questionable and they had the same serial numbers but with different names. It is alleged that the sugar company lost over 2 billion shillings on the property scandal and the final submissions will be made on the 25th of January 2019. Finally, an Nairobi court has charged Waweru Mbogwa with conspiracy to defraud a businessman a parcel of land worth 15 million shillings. Mbogwa denied the charge before Milimani Law Court's Chief Magistrate Francis Andai and was released on a 1 million shilling bond or a cash bill of 500,000. For Scales of Justice, I'm Ben Troy Joel.